PlayStation 5 motherboard. Let me show you what's going on. They managed to rip off every trace. And every trace is still located on the connector, which is still in the fan. This will be what we have to repair today. This video is brought to you by PCBWay. They're running some huge specials. We'll talk more about them in a little bit. While I'm setting up my equipment, let me throw up my expected temperatures for this job. These temperatures are brought to you by the Amazon Associate links in the description. If you head to my video description and click on one of these links and buy any of this equipment, or if you buy anything during that session, a small portion of that purchase will go to supporting the channel. And I greatly appreciate you. It won't cost you an extra dime. For your orientation purposes, we will be working in this area of the board. That's where the fan connector is located, right next to the Wi-Fi IC. First thing we need to do is some scraping with one of our favorite tools, a very handy pen grinder. I'm going to go ahead and just slice off this loose bit. It'll just cause problems. I don't want it to come off though. More scraping. Add some flukes. Tan up our scraped off pads. So every line but this one right here is quite large, which means it probably pulls quite a bit of current. Uh, well, this is the, the power line, I believe. Everything else will be ground. So I think what we're going to end up doing is we'll run a typical jumper wire here because this is not going to be uh, power intensive. And for the rest, we're going to do our normal method of using copper tape. Uh, we'll run a copper tape strip here. We'll run the copper tape strip here and use copper tape as our ground pads. And we're just going to eye things a little bit. See if we can get it pretty close. We're not using copper tape because of the adhesive. We're using copper tape because it's a thin piece of copper that makes a good pad. Oh, that's almost eyed perfectly, guys. Very cool. And I may just leave this long so that I can secure it down with UV coating on both sides. That should be fine. Sorry it was out of focus. All right. See if we can eye this one as well as we did the last one. Now I don't mind it being a little bit long. Right, see if we can eye these, and this will be for both anchor pads. A wider part. There's going to be multiple contact area. so good it doesn't want to move. Very good. So we'll get very good coverage on this one. Most excellent. Now with the jumper wire, I'm just going to run a jumper wire long. And then once we have the connector on the board, we'll wrap it around the pin and make sure it's good and connected. I'm going to run the jumper long on both sides so we can secure it down. Give us plenty to work with. Next important task is to get all the flux we can off this board and out from under those pads. Flux will interfere with our ability to make it nice and secure with UV coating. Uh, any flux under the UV coating will be a problem. So we'll be cleaning thoroughly here. Ultrasonic brush is great for getting under things. Some UV coating around and everything. Really don't care about looks here. If you were worried about the looks, you shouldn't have ripped off your connector. I wouldn't call it pretty, but it will be functional. Grab our big UV lamp, stick it on the board, and let that cure for a good little while. In the meantime, we'll do some connector prep. These pads are not going to do us any good. We're going to remove these connectors, just rock it back and forth, it'll come out eventually. I'm going to step away for a few minutes, let this finish curing, and then we'll come back and complete the work. PCB Way is celebrating their ninth anniversary with a huge promotion. 
PCB Way's ninth anniversary promotion includes free coupons, huge sales, blind boxes with cool prices, non-profit sponsorships, and special sales in the PCB Way store, and much more. Head over to PCBWay.com to get started today. We should be well cured at this point, and it looks like we are. Excellent. Let's go ahead and tin up our two new pads. I think I'm going to go ahead and wait to do that until I have it on the board. I just want it to sit as flat as possible. We will place it first and then solder it on. Case in point, this is not sitting real flat here. Grab our black eye and easy tweezers and do some manipulating here. Careful manipulating. I don't want to break the wire. Just try to wrap it around a few times. Switching to our Pico pencil. Solder the wire on. And if you want a demonstration of the strength, I'm picking up the board with the connector. It's not coming off. That's what you want. Not pretty, but solid. Flip it about here and we'll give it a good cleaning. Again, the ultrasonic brush comes in very handy. Let's give it one last good look. That really couldn't have come out much better. Rock solid. I hope this video is being helpful to you in your repair journey. Just a reminder, if this is something beyond what you want to try yourself, I do offer these services. Just head over to micromage.repair, click free quote, Fill out the form and I'll get back to you personally. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll get value out of this one right here. And I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.